Yo, good evening, YouTubers. Me again, Tristan. I'm not appearing in character tonight. It's just me, Tristan. And tonight is a very significant night. Do you want to know why? Because tonight I'm going to liberate you. I'm going to liberate the masses from oppression and from bullshit. Because tonight, tonight, I am going to reveal that there is no league system. And you know what? I'm going to prove why. I'm going to prove it. Okay, so here is why there is no league system. Now, if you allow me to draw a few diagrams, what it, the tradi traditionally when people say, I see that person is out of their league, it's because they believe there's a point system, as in person A is so and such and such out of ten, person B is such and such out of ten. Well, okay, here's a couple of factors. Now, if you will bear with me. Now, scale of 1 to 10, as you can see there. Now, let's just say what you put yourself at. Let's just say 7, okay? Let's just say you put yourself at a 7. Now, that's what you put yourself at. But sometimes you would believe women who are maybe over a 7 would only go for guys who are over a 7. Ha 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 ha. I can prove you wrong on that because some because a true story... The bully from my my old school, who shall remain nameless, got some fit women. Chavs sometimes get fit women. Chavs are not perfect, as we all know. In fact, there are many instances of guys who are not perfect getting uh, partners of the opposite sex who are of a very high standard. And for us, what that means for the rest of us is, is that you do not need to be perfect to get the person of your choice. That is what it means. So thrust, what that means is the number you need to be is slightly lower, therefore, as we can see on that chart. Now, the next factor is you. Yeah, it's you. That is the next factor. So what is it about you? Well, if someone else likes you, there must be something good about you. So therefore, you're not all that bad. Now, what you need to do is self-improvement. Learn what your talents are and exploit them. Learn what the good things are and make them obvious and ditch the bad things. Now what happens there? That's what that's called making you the super you. Now the super you will m make you another couple of places higher. So you can go from being an eight to a 10. Now, what next? In certain towns and cities, you get a lot of people. Now, a lot of people of the opposite sex means if they're all of a high standard, it means that that's not so elite anymore. It means they can't afford to be picky anymore because mass equals cheap. So, if there's lots of a product, it lessens its value. That takes it down another couple. Now, if we get the thicket, the lower standard people getting the higher standard people at the same time as we get a mass influx, what that creates is two in the same sphere. So I shall draw it like this. So we get those two things, a low standard and a high volume. This is typical where you've got a university, high volume, and B, where you've got a chav town, as in low quality. So the competition ain't up to much, but the market is very, very big. Now, we combine that with you being super you. There we go. Now the fourth factor is the omens being in your favour. Now, omens means uh, basically luck. Do you get on with this person? Are they single? Uh, does it work out for whatever reason? Do you get on with them? That is what omens are. Now, you got to be the super you. And being the super you means the best that you can be. And omens just means biding your time. Now, you, the super you when the omens are good, combined with a high volume influx plus... Uh, guys worse than you getting what you want 
you put all those things together and the, the omens will lower the factor you need to be by another couple. So therefore, if anything, you are out of that other person's league if there were a league system, which there wasn't, which there isn't. A lot of things can happen. Maybe you don't click with that person. Maybe you need self-improvement. A lot of things. Those are omens. That's being the super you. That's a different issue. And by the way, being short man, that ain't necessarily a disadvantage. And I'll tell you why. I will tell you for why. Now, traditionally we believe only the tall people get luck in this world. Uh-uh. No, they don't. A certain tall, good-looking, talented, intelligent, popular, tough person that I know went out with a girl who he hated. He hated her. And he did not fancy her either. He went out with her only because he was taking what he could get. He liked a different person, but he believed that that person was out of his league. Now, does that say that does that say looks or tallness always works? No, it doesn't. It says the opposite. It says exactly the opposite. His tallness did sh did fuck all for him. Now, if being tall isn't therefore being tall is not necessarily an advantage. Now. Because for each action, there, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now, therefore, if being tall is not necessarily an advantage, then being short must, by definition, not necessarily be a disadvantage. Thrust increasing everybody's chances as well. Okay? And that is why there is no league system. Now, if anybody wants to uh, argue about this, or debate, or have a response, I invite you to make your responses below. But... In any case, that's all from me tonight. Thank you for listening. Bye.